Hey, hi everyone. Uh, this series is about uh, how to create a mist effect in the woods. Okay, so to start, I have opened this Adobe Flash Professional here. I'm going to select the Action Script 3.0. Okay, once you select that one, uh, you want to import the image. So I have already downloaded one of the image, uh, wood image from the from the Google. So let's say I am going to import here, import to stage. So I have downloaded uh, two image uh, from the Google so I'm going to pick uh, this image number two here okay once you select that image so this is the woods here okay so next thing um, you want to create the new layer here okay insert layer and this layer you can give a name mist okay now once you create that list um, that layer mist I'm going to draw some shape which look like the mist and then we will apply three filters to it okay so let me um, so first I will select the old shape here and then um, I, will, I will draw this shape here now the color of this image is like um, as you can see here let me see the color properties here you can select it is um, C C uh, C okay so all C's here okay so once you uh, select this image I mean color now you can uh, give some shape like um, you know like uh, to similar to me so you you move your mouse here and you will see this curve line once it's there you can just give some random effect to it okay like uh, like this and then uh, you can extend that sh okay so you go here and then you can make it longer shorter and those kind of thing so once you select this uh, now I can uh, control C control V so that will just make copy of it now let me zoom out a little bit so I can see whole whole picture here okay so now you can just rearrange these uh, shapes here uh, that is not I want to do but I just want to move that shape okay, so let's see you select this one and then so it will start with some mist and then it will pass ok uh, I want to uh, for now I want to hide this picture so let me give it layer name as a woods and then for now since I am working on the mist I want to hide that one ok so I can clearly see that um, mist here and I can make um, zoom out little bit 30% so I can have a better view of all my mist effect here once you have this one you select these two picture and uh, control again control C control V and then I can copy some another same mist here and then I can select again all four of them I can do something like this here I can re rearrange the shape okay and then again control V okay and this time I will move up to here let's see uh, I can little bit too much miss okay I can just leave some over here okay okay now once that part is done um, I can just highlight everything here okay and convert to the symbol here okay, so let's say uh, convert to symbol and then I can give it a name mist okay next thing I'm going to apply three filters to it so this icon is to add the filter okay so since this uh, mist is selected the first filter will be blur okay and then uh, you can give it some uh, blur if uh, like uh, blur effect to 48 pixel and as you can see it is uh, fading here okay so that part is done the next filter I'm going to add the bevel okay so bevel and then it will be like um, blur will be again 26 percent here I can leave it like uh, 30 okay and the color I can pick uh, dark gray here and this one will be lighter gray okay and strength I can uh, I can leave strength is not going much difference I can leave it as as is 100% okay the third filter I'm going to apply 
that will be the drop shadow okay, and then that will be I can just reduce to 3 pixel here and strength will be um, like very low like a 9 percent and that should be okay okay now what I can do I can enable my woods image picture okay, and then here I can just uh, resize this picture to a little bit closer since the mist is a little bit far so I can just resize something like this Okay, now I need to create the motion twin to this mist so I can uh, move my point here you don't have to you can leave it as is but I'm just moving this is the center point okay so now let's say I want to make this around like uh, 20 second long so I can move around like uh, 48 frame and uh, you go 48 frame and then you say insert frame here so my animation will be uh, around like 20 seconds long next thing uh, you want to create some motion in here so you go click anywhere on the top layer in the mist right click and create motion twin. Okay. and uh, once you go all the way to the end so this is your start position in the end you want your mist to pass over this uh, okay so in you go here and then I need to select to layer and in the end you want to make your miss go from like at the end okay up to here should be okay so your miss will pass from that much distance and then it will repeat again okay let's test it out how does it look control taste movie in flash professional so as you can see here the the mist effect that mist is passing through uh, maybe my mist shape is not that good enough but uh, you get the picture right I mean you can create more realistic mist effect here let me do one more thing okay to fix that okay so here I can just change the filter I can just give a very uh, more blur here Okay, let's test our again. Okay, now it's a little bit better than before. And one more thing I can do is that the the spacing is a little bit uh, far over here. So, okay, then I go here and then again blur will be. I can select more blurry. Okay, and think that's pretty much and then let's resize it a bit uh, this object to closer okay. and then taste on this movie okay now it look little bit better than before so as you can see here this mist is passing through these woods so that's pretty much about this video um, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. Okay, bye.